Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do the corn flour. So now, I just have this sitting on a pencil and I just like slapped it all together last night. But this is just made out of many of these little units here. But the flour on itself, on its own, it looks fine. And it, I think it's kind of neat. It's a good way to like break up um, some fancier flowers that you might put in a bouquet. Fold it into a preliminary base. And if you have a piece of paper that's blue on one side and white on the other, so when you fold the when you fold it in half like this, then you want you want the blue to be on the inside. So I think I'm actually just gonna color color it in on the corners a little bit. No, it doesn't. I'm not making it perfect. I would put more time into it. But you only have to color it like about that much in the corner. Because that's all that's going to be showing. Just make sure you have mountain folds on the corners and then valley folds for the halves. The blue to be on the inside when you fold it when you fold the square base. So you fold your square base like this. Like that. And then you want to open the open side on the top and the closed side on the bottom. And you fold it into the center. A lot of these flowers are very similar bottom closed edge to the center and then you take one of them and do a squash fold so to do a squash fold you pick up the paper like this and then along that fold that you just made you flatten that down and then this fold that used to be here is now going to be in the center like that so then you'll have the the white part of the paper and then the colored part of the paper will be up there. So then you do that on all four all four of the flaps. All right, then you'll have something like this. So you'll see that the top parts are able to be split in half. If one of the things was folded the wrong way, it wouldn't be able to. So you just want to make sure that you fold the flap so that it's open on both sides like that then what you want to do is take the bottom and you want to fold the the whole project completely in half just like that it could be a valley fold a mountain fold just as long as you make that fold in half like that then instead of unfolding it here like that you take the top two corners with it and then you flatten it out. So let me show that better. So, so you have it like this, you folded it in half and then you separate these, these uh, top layers like that. Instead of just bringing that back down, you separate the top layers and then you lay it out flat. Now you'll have these little buggers that get in the way and you want to fold those flat also by doing a squash fold. So you want that middle center line to go right into the center of the two leaves up there. Just like that. And same thing on the other side. Okay. Now this part is how we're going to make the petals. So this is, you see the colored part is where the petals are. So what you do is you take, you take the corners and you fold them along these lines that you just made by making the squash fold. And it'll kind of look like 
two squares, the square down here and the square up here. Then you fold one of the petals back to the the fold that you just make, made back upon itself like that. And then you're going to do a, another squash fold. So stick your finger in there and open it up. So you do the same thing on all four of them. And with bigger paper like this, it was actually pretty easy. With the paper that I had to use for these little tiny ones here, I had a harder time with this. So all I did was, instead of trying to stick my finger up here, you go to where it's open on the side and then slip your finger in that way and then open it up. So now you have all four petals out like that. And then for the bottom, you just want to flip it back and forth a couple times and then until it's upright like that. And then, as you can see, that's your flower, the finished product there. I think it's kind of neat because you have the four petals and then you have kind of like sepals or some other kind of some bottom petals or some other part of the plant that's peeking out there. So I kind of like it. Well, so that's it. I hope you try it and I hope you like it.